Hi, it's Shanique. So we are going to add uh, the foot connection to the pelvis. So let's get started. So let's start with uh, seated on a mat with your legs stretched in front of you. Head over shoulders, shoulders over hip. Take a deep inhale and allow your spine to be lifted before you start you. And you're going to stretch all your ten toes out as if your feet were eyelashes. So on your inhale, you're going to stretch and round your foot as if you're grabbing something under your arch. And on your exhale, you're going to grab it and flex your feet back up. Again, inhale, press. Grab a ball, a towel with the arch of your foot. And then exhale out. One last time. Pull. And then exhale and flex. Now you reverse. You bend from your toes first. You ground your foot. You stretch out your toes and then you flex your ankles. Again, grab your toes and then the arch of your foot. You stretch your toes and you flex your feet. One last time. It's like your feet are doing like a worm action, you know. Rolling forward one last time. Bend, round, extend your toes and flex. Now turn out and then turn in. So you basically want to sit on top of your pelvis, but if this makes you feel like you're slouching, pop yourself on a block. So you turn out, inhale, and then exhale and close your legs. And exhale. It's very similar to the one we did a few weeks ago where you stand up and turn out. So now you're just seated. You have less um, body parts to think of. And exhale. Last one. And then squeeze your legs together and then relax your foot. Alright, so you want this connection to travel to the shin, to the legs, all the way to the back of the hips helping us to turn out, but also to lift the tummy up all the way to the rib cage, all the way to the top of the head. So with that, we're going to lay down on the back and then you're going to stretch your arms down. Uh, we want to do this meditation in movement. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Now the same action we did on the feet as we were seated, we're going to do the same. So now with your toes, ten toes up, inhale, spread each toe apart from each other. And then you inhale, you push with the ball of the foot until your foot feet are pointed. You relax your toes, you pull the arch back to you to lift your foot back up. And again, spread all your ten toes, push with the ball of the foot point and then pull back with the arch one last time and exhale up release now reverse toes curled flex and bring it back in toes curl followed by the arch of your foot exhale flex back in one last time And then exhale back in. Shake up your legs. Let's do the turn out and turn in. Inhale, turn out the leg from the back of the hip. Exhale and close. Inhale, turn out. Exhale and back in. Two more breaths. Exhale, last one and exhale so every time you turn out you should feel the bone rotating inside your socket deep inside your pelvis and all the muscles that are connected to your hips and up your tummy start working together one more time feel it coming to the back and exhale release and release your legs Good, now keep your legs in a turn out. Start with your arms. Inhale, arms up, palms facing each other.
stretch, circle your arms up, exhale, bring your arms back down, inhale, circle, exhale, last one, circle and exhale, reverse, arms back, out, and exhale, down, so same way you turn your hips uh, your legs into your hip socket, you do the same with the capsule of your shoulders. One last time. And then exhale down. So we're going to pick up the legs straight for 100 position. So first let's take a two to your deep breath and connect yourself into your body. Deep breath in. And exhale out. Inhale in. Lengthen your spine all the way from the feet to the crown of the head. Exhale. Last one. And then exhale. Now let's pick up the legs, body up in a hundred position on the next exhalation. Deep breath in through your nose. And exhale. And then we begin. Four, five, and up. attempt to um, hold your legs uh, in line with your spine with your feet eye level. Alright, so let's move on to roll up. I'm going to keep you using my magic circle. You feel free to do so as well. Inhale through your nose. Now flex all your toes like those eyelashes we started the class with. This time you're just pulling your tummy up like you're wearing a big bathing suit. Inhale through your nose, squeeze slightly into your circle, chin to your throat. And then exhale. Inhale, pull your stomach back. And exhale, lay your head down. Inhale through your nose, chin to your throat. Exhale. Inhale, roll back, like those feet, pull them back into your tummy. Exhale, head down, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, last two breaths. Exhale. Inhale back. Last one. Exhale. Inhale back. And exhale, release. So, you are going to bend your right knee to your chest and Put your circle into your foot into your circle if you have one. So you're gonna keep the other foot flex and flex your toes as well as the right side. So you're gonna inhale, grab the side of the circle, pull yourself close. One, two, three, and then exhale. Deepen your tummy. Take your circle out. Put it on the side, point your toe, and turn your legs like we did earlier with the foot connection. Cross your leg over, inhale, circle around, exhale. So imagine you're creating a wide circle with your big toe. Inhale, two more, 
last one. Change direction. Inhale, cross over. Three. See if you can maintain your turn out so your belly stay turned on. Last one. And then exhale, bend your knee to your chest, give it a hug, press deep, stretch your right foot down, take your magic circle again, flex your right foot, flex your left foot, grab the circle on the side, take a deep breath in through your nose, exhale, stretch, and then you pulse, two, just to release any tension in the hamstring, three, exhale, Hold the legs in the air, point your toe and turn out your leg, arms down, cross over, inhale, down around, exhale, breathe, two more, last one, Change direction. Breathe. Three more. Last one. And exhale, big in your heart. Press it deep, 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 deep into your tummy. Take the other leg as well. So you have a little gap between your knees for your rolling like a ball. You connect those legs right inside your pelvis, up your stomach. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale up to sitting. Pick your back muscle today. So this big as if you're a swimmer. And then you place your feet as close as your bum as close as you can to your ankles. And then you're gonna grab your ankles with your front knees, balance onto your sit bones, and lift your waistline up. Grow taller, inhale, keep that little frog, roll back, exhale. Good, keep going, inhale. Feel your legs coming deep inside your back and inside your front. And inside your side, waistline, exhale. Two more. Last one. And exhale. Grab your feet down, hands next to your pelvis, pick your back muscle, and then stretch yourself down. Take your right knee to your chest, bring it close to your tummy, raise your elbows up. Balance onto your butt muscle, pick up the other leg, go down, go down, go down. Let's try to keep the foot eye level today. Deep belly in and we go. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. And one more. Exhale. And both knees into your chest. You have that little frog again. Inhale, feet eye level. Circle, exhale. Circle. Three more. Feel your arch coming right back to your tummy. Three more breaths like that. two and last one lower your head stretch your legs out take two deep breaths breathe in and exhale knees towards your chest swing up to sitting for spine stretch so you're going to place your hands and push your butt back, flex your ankles, sit right on top of your sit bones, 
keep your pelvis lifted to your spine is uh, in line with your sacrum. Those ankles, the arch of your feet are coming up, right up your skirt. Arms in front of you, inhale. Exhale, roll, sink your sternum back, push your tummy in. And then you inhale. You go deep inside your back muscle, you lift your sacrum, you lift your spine. Exhale. We take a deep breath. And your spine and your head arrives together. Keep feeling this arch coming right up into your scoop. Inhale, lift your back muscle, your kite, image, last two. back muscle to release down. Roll up. Roll your shoulders back. And we are ready for side leg. Stack your feet together. Hand in front of you. Now really flex those toes. Stack your hip on top of each other. Pick up your waistline, left foot up to hip high. Take a deep breath. Kick, kick, exhale, back. Inhale, exhale. Two more breaths. Breathe, exhale. Last one. Exhale, stay at the back. Lift your waist. Circle one. 
little pointed two, uh, pointed toes. Three, four, five, six. Stir your legs deep inside your tummy. Seven, and eight. Reverse out. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Close your legs. Deep breath into your nose. So remember when we turned out, we felt the bones turning out into the socket. So that's how you want to feel when you connect the feet all the way to the pelvis. Tummy up, inhale, go up, exhale, flex down. You maintain the turnout on the way up and on the way out. One more. Reverse, flex and then point. Flex and then point. Two more. Last one and down. So you're gonna lay down on your bicep. You're gonna pick both legs up. You're gonna turn out your legs and clap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Lower your chest down. Fold your arms. Open and close and keep turn out. Keep your pubic going up, your lower arms up. And then keep clapping. And then release down. Upside. Elbow up. Stack the hips on top of each other. Stack the feet on top of each other. Lift your waistline. Flex your foot. Spread all your toes out and then go. Inhale and inhale. Exhale. So that everything is connected to lift the spine, the legs simultaneously in a V. So you turn out your legs, you pull the belly in the front, so you feel how your turn out is supporting your back muscle and your bathing suit is pulling and supporting your front and your spine. Take a deep inhale through your nose, curl your chin to your throat and lift up and lift up and lift up and hold. Now maintain the turn out as you roll down. You lengthen your spine and then exhale down. Good. Once again, the turn out connects to the back, the front with your bathing suit. Chin to your throat. Curl up. Curl up. Curl up. Curl down. And then release. Last one. Deep breath in. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale. 
and then release. Whew, hope you got that. All right, knees to your chest, last exercise, seal. Come up to sitting. So last week we did the clap of the back. So let's try that again. So grab your ankles and then um, balance onto your bum, lean your spine back, pull your waistline. Um, so muscles are helping you, your shape, the shape of your body. And then we clap. One, two, and three. Deep breath. One, two, and three. Come back. One, two, and three. Deep breath. Inhale. Inhale. Four more. Keep your chest lifted as you clap. I know if you're tired, sometimes you tend to block yourself down or drop down. Breathe in so you can maintain your back straight. Two more. Last one. And exhale, feet flat. All right, so a push-up position. Still, still love it with the uh, magic circle. So, sternum in the center of your magic circle, hands on the side. Now your feet plays a big part of uh, positioning your pelvis the right position. What I mean by that? If you hang on your toes, you're dragging your hips. So keep those feet very flat. Back back on here and sense your lower belly connecting your hips with your spine. And then we're gonna... And then exhale right back. One more. And then exhale, lower the knees down. Did you catch that? So make sure your toes are curved, connecting to your tummy, for your tummy to support your spine so you maintain your plank position. Cross your ankles. You can still maintain your lower abs even though you're not using straight legs. So connect your feet in a little rounder position. Hands under your shoulders. Push and then straight back. And then straight back. Last one. And straight and release. I hope that you understood the, the connection of the feet to the legs all the way to the pelvis to your abdominal that gives you pelvis power and abdominal power. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video around with your friends and family. See you next week for another video.